intervened. They didn't do a thing. Cops were called. There were people who reported it to the RCMP, and the RCMP did not respond to those calls. She was left to fend for herself. She was beaten to death because nobody stood for her. Not one person helped her. When I found out that she had passed, there was no body to go and identify. No RCMP contacted me. None of that family here on this Get Reserve contacted me or any of our family. They all hid and they're still hiding the truth today. Six weeks today and not one person has come forward with any information about my daughter. They know. They know what happened to my daughter, but nobody comes forward. How is that acceptable? My heart is broken. My daughter was murdered. You don't know how it feels to have your daughter murdered. Viciously beaten to death.
when that coroner's report comes in, there better be a rest because we've waited too long already. And every day that there's no justice for her is another day that my heart is so raw because I don't have answers. We deserve to have answers. We need to know what happened to our daughter. I just hope somebody sees how serious we are. We're not letting this go. We are not going to let her be silent. We are going to keep fighting for justice for Kaylee. As long as it takes. I don't care. I'm here for the long run until her murders are behind bars. They need to take accountability and quit hiding. And that reserve back there has to quit hiding them too. They're allowing murderers to walk among them. And us, how, how safe do you feel? How safe do you feel being around people like that? I know I don't like it. I don't want my kids growing up around people like that. And it's so hard having to wait for the RCMP to do their job. You know, start doing your job properly from the start. You know, there was a, they probably watched the investigation. There was no tapering off of that house. Nothing. And I'm tired of waiting. I really want answers. And I want justice for Kaylee.